a superchargers paula wingate here and this video we're going to talk about the most underrated money-making tactic there is in business and that is goal setting that's right the simple tactic that can explode people's results out of the park how good are we at doing this now most people before they come working with us say paula i'm exceptional at it Right, cool, let's go with it. And once we analyse it though, they're either non-existent or at a very basic level. Now, what I mean by non-existent is majority of times their goal setting is in here. In here, getting confused, getting full, not really having full clarity, but if only they put it on a piece of paper with the clear directions of what they want to achieve, how they're going to achieve it, how they're going to measure success and when by they would have 42 percent more chance of success now if i had person a and person b person a is a business genius knows everything that they want to know you can't teach them anything more they know what to do in business the only thing is they don't have clarity in them in their head they don't know what they want to achieve how they're going to achieve it because they don't know what to what what they want to achieve, what targets they're going to set because they don't know what to, the, to achieve and uh, when by. Or you've got person B, which is just an average business owner, an average skilled mindset business owner, and they have full clarity of what they want to achieve, how they're going to achieve it, how they're going to measure their success on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, six monthly and annual basis. And by when? Now, which person is going to have more success? Doesn't take a genius to know that person B, the average person, will have more success than the genius because they've got 100% clarity of what they want to achieve. Now, that's power, guys, having 100% clarity of what they want to achieve. Now, I'm going to go through an acronym that's going to help explain how I set goals. Now, this is not my goal setting formula. It's just an acronym so you understand how I set goals. Now, we start off with the G for goals. G, and that is get clarity. Get full clarity on what you want to achieve. If you don't get full clarity of what you're going to achieve, your mind will not know the instructions it needs to have to ensure you're going to smash that objective out the park okay so get clarity okay O stands for objectives um what 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 is your focus what do you want to achieve how are you going to achieve it by when what ta targets are you going to set yourself get the objectives clear guys get a really great structure for your brain to understand the detail behind hitting this goal now, you don't have to have loads of detail, none of that, but you just need to have the right piece of detail on your plan to know how you're going to achieve that. Now, we will show you how to do that later, but make sure you've got the right roadmap in place to be able to get from A destination to your B destination. Okay, so I've done the G and O. Let's talk about A, which is accountability. Now, when people come to us, they ask us to keep them accountable. Now, nah, I don't get into that game. Let me show you how to help you keep yourself accountable. These are your goals. These are your dreams. This is your life mission, guys. If I hold you accountable, how are, how are you ever going to be able to learn how to keep yourself accountable? What if I ever not? If, if I'm not ever here? So that's the reason why we teach you how to keep yourself accountable. Now we've done the G O A. Now it's the L, which is learning. Now, when I'm setting goals, I'll do a gap analysis to understand where my gaps are in my learnings, which will stop me achieving the goals I want to set. Now, the, the, the learnings, anyone can achieve anything as long as they learn how to achieve it. Now, why I do a gap analysis is because I want to know in my plan what I need to learn on how to do it. Now, if I'm talking about marketing, guys, if I was wanting to learn, if I wanted to earn a million pounds through Facebook ads, then I would need to learn how to do it. Better still, 
I would need to learn how to recruit the right person to be able to hit, help me hit the one million pounds on Facebook. So it's all about learners, guys, okay? So I've done the G, the O, the A, the L, S, and it's about putting those four steps together for me to get success. Now, success is easy as long as you've set your mind set for success, as long as you've planned for your success, and as long as you understand the quality of your goals equals the quality of your bank balance. Now, I'm all about promoting working less, earning more. Most business gurus will promote about working as hard as you can to burn yourself out to earn more and work more. Do we really need to go down that route? The world is changing. So here's my challenge on, on the world that was changing. We need to relearn to learn how to learn new things. So we need to learn how to relearn to be able to learn new things. How are you doing that? Okay, have fun. See you later. Take care. Bye.